am so tired. I can't lie, I snoozed my alarm today a few times because I was like, there's no way. But I booked up a lot of class last night and so I'm gonna get myself ready right now, brush my teeth, do all that fun stuff. I wanna put my hair up. I tried out a new Pilates class last week and I really loved it. Today I'm going to a different location and this is the first time I'm gonna have a black instructor. I don't think I've ever gone to a fitness class that has a woman of color instructor. So I'm really excited about that. I've done yoga, I've done Pilates, I've done dance lessons, and none of my instructors have been of color. So I, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I definitely have to hit up the grocery store and just start up the beginning of the week things trader joe's i also need to get some work done oh and it's peony season and trader joe's last time i went to trader joe's i had a lot of really pretty peonies and i want to get some more for my bedroom so i might run and do that but i plan on this being a very productive morning <laughs> why is that so hard to open I don't know how I'm gonna survive today. My go-to right now, simple, but effective. Of course we can't forget. Still loving this deodorant. This one is aluminum free. I'm obsessed. Skincare is done. Feeling nice and fresh. Now I need to go change and run out the door because we're running a little behind. This is my outfit for Pilates. I kept it real simple this bra top or the sports bra i should say is from amazon sweatshirt is from aritzia it's just a white fluffy zip up these leggings are also from amazon and then my shoes are the ugg tasman and the socks are from amazon i'll link all the stuff i can find online in the description box but i am now gonna grab my laptop hold on let me turn you guys around now that i'm ready i'm gonna grab my laptop my work things and just a few other stuff that I'm gonna take because I'm gonna go get some work done at a coffee shop, probably Starbucks or something, we'll see. But I still have some time before my Pilates class because I had to book a little bit later. I booked, I think at like 10 something. So I have a lot of time to get some work done in between, grab a little bit of breakfast maybe before I hit up the class. I could have done a way earlier class, but because I'm trying to try that specific instructor, okay? We're gonna do the 10 something class. So let me grab my stuff and then we can head out. Pilates. There's a parking garage. We love that. All right, let's go. For your split squat push, it's going to be one blue if you're under 25 classes. In between 25 and 50, it's a blue and a gray. We're here to sweat. We're here to move. 
forearms go down, a two line for lifting your hips all the way up, and then keeping your eyesight down and back towards your toes. Good. From here, you go back to your full range of motion. You bring it in first more, five seconds, and three, two, and one. So bring it in first. There you go, Cruz. And then slowly start to send it back out. Keep your tailbone tucked underneath. Second push, seven seconds. You find your max tension, point of intensity. You can grab on to the sides of your platform. It is back day. You're in one, and you guys are out one. Full range in five. Lift your hips in three, two, and one. So lift your hips and then slowly start to drop it down. A good team seated crunch getting you off your shoulders and your wrist. From here, change your swing. Left to 25. One gray, more than 25. One white, more than 50. Create the tension right here and then your core. Try not to have your core rest on your quads. Yes. You guys are absolute beasts right here, team. Full here, up one and down one. Three, two, and one, and one. Out one, good. We take it back to the white line, and you hold it. Three, two, one, hold. Take it back to the middle, and three, two, and one, good, hold. You're back to the blue, and three, two, and one, full range. You bring it in towards the white, and slowly release. And three, two, and one, bring it in towards the white. Slowly start to release, bring change in 30. Less than 25 classes, one. Gray, more than 25, one white, more than 50, zero springs. Ooh, that was wild. <laughs> I want to say that was the most intense Pilates class I've been to thus far, but I loved it. I was dying. I had to bring down the weight a few times and modify a few times, but gosh, that class was bomb. The music was bomb. It was music I listened to, and LA is so funny and that class in the carriage right next to me was Karuchi, Karuchi Tran. I'm like, hey girl. I didn't say that because she would have looked at me crazy, but <laughs> LA is very interesting because you will go to a regular, regular class and see people you wouldn't think to see. But now, gosh, I want to go home, shower, and just get the day started I actually want to get myself ready today and put makeup on and everything because I always feel like that makes me feel a lot better and more motivated and kind of ready to go for the day so I am gonna go home shower do my hair my makeup and then we'll head out to go to the grocery store I also need to return some stuff I have back there to Amazon just things I've been slacking on that I need to go get done This right here is one of the things that I need to do more often on my productive days is actually get myself ready. Even though I work from home, if you work from home, you know what I'm about to say. Something about getting ready just makes me feel so much more productive. Don't get me wrong. I have a lot of days where I just throw on some sweatpants, uh, bodysuit, sneakers, hair up in a bun, no makeup, but it, it doesn't feel as as good as this does sometimes so the curling iron that i'm using is the t3 curling iron i put this through the ringer i use this all the time i don't know what size barrel this is but once i figure it out i'll link it below i have this one and the thinner one and a larger one but this one right here is like my favorite favorite so i just kind of go through add some curls and then i'm going to use the unite max control stronghold hairspray to kind of lock this in And I'm gonna let it set before I like fully brush it out. 
and I'm gonna work on this side. Hit it with a little bit of volume spray. For outfit, I kind of think I want to go comfy book smart vibes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have this Yale top that I am going to tie up. And I'm probably going to just wear some baggy jeans. I am on to see my husband. <laughs> that freaking song is going to Okay, I think these baggy jeans are cute. Because I like that they are unfinished at the ends. These are from Zara. Jeans are starting to fit a little tight. The jeans are starting to fit a little tight. A T is on, but I'm gonna tie this up because I don't really feel like going for a super baggy look all the way around, to be honest. So she goes to Yale, but she's also a city girl. Sometimes, that's the vibe. Earrings. I'm happy, I'm happy to see my husband. I have two different earrings. I have these ones that are chunky and these, I think these are Bottega dupes, right? These are the ones that everybody has. Both will be linked below. Mm. The chunky ones kind of feel like a lot for a Tuesday, like you're doing a lot right now. So I think I might do the Bottega dupes. Let me put the glasses on first though. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like that too. Can y'all even see me for real? Too much? I think this, this might be too much. I can even pull the glasses up. Mm. I think that's too much. I think I might just do these ones. They're smaller. This is kind of giving sleek bun vibes. Like sleek bun bomb makeup. This is nice, but it might be... Too much for me, I think. Because usually I would wear these. These are from Target. Yeah. Much better. I'll save these for another occasion. Okay. Second outfit of the morning. Glasses are blue light glasses from Amazon. Hoops are Target. This t-shirt is H&M. These pants are Zara. And I just paired it with the Sam Edelman sneakers. I was gonna do sandals. No, it looks weird with sandals. So that's kind of what I'm gonna go with for today. Just casual, comfortable. It's a little chilly. I might take a jacket, but for the most part, I think this outfit's really cute for running to Trader Joe's, doing returns, and possibly hitting up Crate and Barrel. My very first stop is Staples. That's where I'm gonna go return my Amazon stuff. It gave me the option to return it at Staples, Whole Foods, or like an Amazon drop-off, but one of the items I couldn't take to Whole Foods or else I would have gone there. So I'm just gonna drop it all off here at Staples. So I'm pretty much returning. Um, on my bed, I have a black version of this 
furry blanket this is a duvet cover but i don't use it like a duvet cover i just use it like a regular blanket and uh i got it in black i love it on my bed i just wanted to get both so i can see what color i preferred but i do prefer that Ooh, black one and then i bought some heels for my trip to hawaii but i don't like the color and i don't like the way they look on me they're just these kitten heel sandals are really cute but because in my opinion because i have a longer foot i feel like kitten heels just make my foot look even longer whereas when the heels higher it makes it look like sexier in my opinion just kitten heels i don't like the way they look on me and i'm just now realizing that because it was the first time i ever bought kitten heels i got those in two colors and then i got these other ones that are really cute as well but they're kitten heels and they just don't look good on my Feet. they're just too short if they were a little bit higher they would have been perfect i just like that they're gold and then i bought some earrings that were broken Ooh, which i can't they're just these small you're not even gonna be able to gold double stacked earrings i really like these i might just end up getting them again and hope that they don't come broken but that's everything that I'm returning right now from Amazon. And listen, if you're the type of person that doesn't do returns, you gotta get on your Zoom because all this that I'm returning is almost $300 worth of stuff. And this is stuff that normally I'd be so lazy to return, but no, we're not doing it in 2023. We are returning stuff we're not using because it don't even make sense. To be wasting money like that Woo. all done super easy next stop crate and barrel so at crate and barrel i have what do i have on my list all right i have uh, there are these containers that i want to get for fruit to put in the fridge and there's an egg holder that i want to get uh is there anything else that i I might want to get some new utensils for my kitchen we'll see and the reason why i want to get those is because when i buy fruit and whatnot i like to wash it right away and put it in containers that way i can actually eat it and not let it go to waste because i find that if i get fruit and i don't wash it right away and kind of prep it cut it do all that i will not eat it i will waste it so I'm trying to just be a little more and do little things like that buy little cute containers and whatnot to actually make me eat my daggone fruit and the egg holder is very unnecessary but you know me i like buying cute things Now that I'm driving, I realize I'm gonna be passing by the Grove, which if you know, you know. But there's a Barnes and Noble there. And the other day on my story, I posted a little question thing asking you guys what your favorite reads are because I've really been into reading lately. I finally picked back up my, well, you guys saw in the morning, I picked up the Atomic Habits book. I read a few pages when I first got the book and then I just never picked it up again. It's just been decor on my nightstand. Uh, I don't know what it is when it comes to reading. And this happens to me also when I'm doing yoga, meditation, or when I'm praying. Like my mind, I start to focus and then my mind wanders. And I know that that's normal, but when I'm reading, it's really frustrating because I have to reread the lines I got to go back and reread because I read it but I'm not actually like focusing and I'm not even paying attention to what I'm reading anyways I finally decided to pick up that book again and read it and I'm trying to just get better at reading and just get into reading because I want to expand my knowledge and so yeah I posted that thing on my story and a few of you guys sent me books to check out so I think after crate and barrel because that's the furthest i want to stop by the grove and go to barnes and nobles and 
uh, see if I can find any of the books that you guys recommended. Atomic Habits is a good one because it like teaches you and talks about habits and like how to build good habits, how to basically become the person that you wanna be or do the things that you wanna do with little tiny habits that turn into bigger uh, goals essentially. But I also wanna pick up some other books. I usually am into very much self-help books maybe i think i might be into romance as well but it has to be good it has to be something that i'm really just into something that grabs my attention which usually for me tends to be learning stuff like self-help stuff more realistic books i think things that teach you something even i'm super into i was at bars and noble the other day actually and learning about personalities learning about relationships things like that i'm even into so um if you know of any that you know are just like good reads drop it i've already read the is it the four agreements i've read at, i'm reading atomic habits i have also read what is that other popular one it's like a black cover <laughs> think and grow rich i've read that one you can kind of see the habit with even just those three books right there what kind of books that i'm into Oh, cool. Yes, just one. This one's perfect. Those are so pretty. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They are. I saw you guys have the bigger ones too, but yeah. I figure for like berries and stuff, this mm -hmm. would be the perfect size. We have this set. It's like, I think it's yeah. a set of three. Three different yeah. ones, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fine. I'll do yeah. the four. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff so we're gonna do a haul when we get home and that's gonna be pretty much the end of my morning I'm gonna get back home and just do some editing and finish off the rest of the day but I came looking for peonies right well obviously I came to grocery shop but I was hoping to find some peonies and I didn't find any and I was like a little bum but I was like oh well it's fine I already got some the other day and as I was checking out the guy had finished bagging up all my stuff and put everything in the cart and I was, I was already like leaving, walking towards the door, one of the workers slips those flowers into my cart and says, these are for you. And I'm like, I start started laughing and then I'm like, wait, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, and left them in my cart and I'm just like walking out. I'm assuming somebody might, maybe might have returned them or something. And I guess, I don't, or I don't know, I feel like he could have put them back in the front. I don't know but I got some free flowers but that was really nice a very kind gesture this morning now to get out of this parking lot that's gonna be the part that's gonna be fun because there's people coming in people getting out and this entrance is teeny tiny I feel like I've had some pretty good stuff though at Trader Joe's I found some things that I haven't tried yet there are these mini I'm sure you guys have tried them the little mini ice cream cones I got those in the coffee bean flavor. There were only like three left, so I'm like, this one must be bomb. I kind of looked for some things that looked a little low on the shelves because those are usually some of the good things. And then I just uh, got some other things that I normally get. So um, I'm excited to try out some new things this week. Let's do a quick haul because I need to get to work. So my car is full. Of course, we first have flowers which were not a part of the plan but here we go these i have not tried the thai lime and chili cashews these are new to me they just look good so hopefully they are i just needed some eggs i usually get large white eggs for fruit i got blueberries mango fresh cut mango i got more but it's probably in the other bag onions 
broccoli, russet potatoes, and I love zucchini squash. So I got this pack, this comes in a pack of four. I had this honey walnut shrimp in my freezer and I accidentally left the freezer cracked open for a while and they ended up defrosting. So I didn't even want to risk it. I ended up throwing those out. So I haven't gotten to try these, but I had to get those. Fresh hard cooked peeled eggs for my morning avocado toast. Of course, is it even a Trader Joe's run without the beef birria? This is fire. You can make tacos, you can make burritos, you can quesadillas. Oh, these are bomb. Good old avocados again for my morning avocado toast. I haven't tried these. These are the carnitas with salsa verde burrito. It has spicy pork, black beans, cilantro, lime, rice, pepper jack cheese, and a flour tortilla. They look just like this. That just on fire. I needed milk. I did not need these jumbo cinnamon rolls with vanilla icing, but I got those. Just chicken, just to put this in salads if I'm making something that requires chicken like pasta or something. It's already cooked in olive oil, salt, and pepper. Simple. These, um, I've kind of been on the hunt for these in the pomegranate version, but they haven't had them. The sparkling juice, pineapple juice, this is pineapple, but they have it in pomegranate and they have a few other flavors. I've really been into acai bowls heavy. And so since I picked up some fruit, I usually get mine with strawberries, bananas, honey, blueberries. And so I got all those fruits to put in these. You basically put these packs in the blender and you can make an acai bowl at home. So I got a, these come in four, so it'll probably be good enough for two bowls. I'm assuming two packs would be good for like a nice hefty bowl. These are the ice creams I was talking about. The mini hold the cone ice cream cones. They're literally tiny drumsticks. I kind of wanted to pick up the chocolate chip ones too, but I'm like, relax just get one flavor at a time it's not gonna go anywhere uh buffalo chicken wings or hot and spicy chicken wings breaded chicken these are just like look i need a snack i'm starving i don't feel like cooking get some ranch throw these in the oven uh, i think i'm gonna have this today this is the turkey apple cheddar sandwich just something like quick easy i have not tried this as of yet but it has turkey breast sliced apples aged cheddar baby arugula and dijon must no mayonnaise spread on a roll strawberries this is the other fruit that i got hold on the lighting is kind of bright i just noticed i had you guys in very bright lighting sorry y'all uh mini chicken tacos also new i haven't tried them they have chicken breast i don't know if they're just chicken breast and i forgot to get the trader joe's salsa verde because i wanted to use that to dip them in but it's all good these look good and they seem pretty simple good old bread uh this is buttermilk bread which sounded pretty good for sandwiches and stuff and for my avocado toast i usually just get the regular white but buttermilk bread just sounded extra delicious this is really popular i want to use this for a side if i make birria tacos or just any other dish if i want i'm gonna have some of this today too i think this spicy mango lemonade that sounds fire this sounds fire to use with some tequila if you ask me <laughs> and i got uh, last things four of these orange juices i was gonna get just the big size because they're cheaper um i don't know how many how much is in the bigger one but it, usually i don't go through orange juice that often and once you open it you have to use it within like seven days i think it is so i don't want to be wasted so i'd rather just get the individual ones and drink this whenever oh no use within five days after opening see i wouldn't use orange juice that quick so if i get them individually like this I can just drink this up whenever I want orange juice and I'm not wasting orange juice. And I got two of these Greek yogurt honey yogurts. This sounded good. I don't think I've ever had a Greek yogurt with honey. So 
Yeah, I usually just add honey, which is fine too. And then I want to try the strawberry vanilla, which I also have not tried. And that is everything from Trader Joe's. Let me show you the books I got. And then what I got at Crate and Barrel. So you kind of saw at Crate and Barrel what I picked up. But I got four of these fruit ceramic colanders. Colanders, I think that's how you pronounce them. To put the fruit I just bought. Um, and it has the holes on the bottom so I can just organize them in the fridge like that. Very cute. And my egg holder which I also kind of showed you a quick clip of it. I have an egg holder now, and I actually saw some egg holders like this on Amazon, but they only had them for up to six eggs, and I wanted to get a slim one that was for 12. And the one that they had on Amazon for 12 eggs was like thicker and wider, and I just, I wanna save space in my fridge, so this is the one I got. It literally is just like the regular egg carton, but it's not in an egg carton, I know. I know it's not necessary, but it is what it is. And then from Barnes and Noble, I got two books. I had three in my hand. One was a random one that I just saw there and I kind of flipped through and I was like, eh, not really interesting. And then these two were recommended by you guys on my story. So aside from these two, the other two that were most popular were the four agreements, like I told you guys, and also Atomic Habits alchemist was another one that was highly recommended and then these two so the courage to be disliked it's a japanese phenomenon that shows you how to change your life and achieve real happiness this just seemed interesting by the title of it when i saw it pop up on my instagram uh story question thing so uh i didn't read the like how to change your life and achieve real happiness part but it still seems it seems right up my alley not that i'm not happy right now because <laughs> a girl i'm happy but i just think maybe this will be something interesting to read i don't know we'll see and then uh this one i think this one might be the one i start with tonight i like i said i have the atomic habits and usually i like to read an entire book before i skip to the next one but that one i'm not like deep into it i'm just kind of like okay this is cool so i think i'm gonna kick start tonight with this one it's called set boundaries find peace a guide to reclaiming yourself so it's basically how to set healthy boundaries how to communicate certain things it seems like an easy read and just something that's like right 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 where i want so this is um it's like common areas that need boundaries things that lead to burnout uh where, what else what else what else what's keeping us from ha having healthy boundaries little b microaggressions boundaries and codependency like this that's the kind of stuff i like to read about because i like to learn like where our certain habits and things come from so those are the two i got And that is everything for this video this routine this vlog all of it but i wanted to just do like a productive super early kickstart day uh because i know i have noticed right now that a lot of people are experiencing kind of what i had been experiencing for some time which is kind of a form of 
burnout or just feeling uninspired just not really having a set routine type of thing so when i got back from vacation i was feeling super motivated inspired and just felt like hopping right back into routine and work and everything so i was like this would be a perfect video to just kick off uh with a nice and early 6 a.m productive morning video <laughs> so that's exactly what i did but i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh let me know how you guys liked it and i can do more videos like this i really want to get back into uh just doing other videos aside from just vlogs don't get me wrong i love a good vlog but to be honest a lot of days i'm not doing a whole lot and vlogs i know that you guys are like you can post anything you can be doing the same thing all the time and we wouldn't get tired but I think you guys would get tired if i'm being really really honest because i don't do a whole whole lot so i think doing more routine based videos doing more sit down stuff i want to sit down and film like an updated really bomb foundation routine and then also still keeping up with the vlog stuff i think that's kind of my vibe right now we'll see even though i still mostly will be posting vlogs anyway because that's just the style i'm really into and it's easy i do want to sprinkle in some other videos because if not look if I just rely on vlogs, it's going to be like how it's been this past month. And it's going to be very sparse content. And I don't want it to get that way. So we're going to do a little mix. But anyway, that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. So this brought around the way. Instantly connected when he caught my eye. Nothing ever was the same. Couldn't seem to get his picture off my mind. Then we took it all away. I could have sworn he was just my type. Then he, he said to me.